Ladies and gentlemen, the Lord has blessed us with another wonderful day. We got the truck hooked up to the trailer to the fender on it. So you guys know what that means. It's a nice, cool, like 70 degrees today. It's been thunderstorming all morning, but it's let up just in time for me and old Julius. Hey, buddy. I like the outfit just for starters. Hey, the, 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 the long socks. You know. go back to the beach. <laughs> We're gonna be killing some pigs tonight. What else is there to do on a Sunday afternoon? We've been blessed with some beautiful weather. So, we got a pig problem. I'm ordering some hog traps. We'll get into that later. It's gonna be a little bit of a Sunday fun day. Throw this puppy and drive, and let's head down to the deer club because uh, we got some guns to sight. Oh boy! We have made it down to the deer club. As you guys know, I've said it a million times for any new viewers. I actually got a hunting lease. We got 750 acres lease. Here's the clubhouse. But uh, this year we developed this hog problem. Or I guess it was the ending of last year. And we have not been able to get rid of the hogs. I think I did a count this morning. I think we've killed roughly 14 of them. And they just keep growing. We can't keep up with them. So we're gonna have to get some traps. But we're down here today. To do what, Julius? Kill them all. Kill them all, baby. But like I was saying, we got some guns to side in before we go shoot these pigs so uh let's get the defender off the trailer get set up to shoot and i'll pick up the camera well boys we got the defender off the truck we got our target spray painted and ready down yonder jealous buddy what what guns are we shooting tonight uh, we're shooting brayden this is what your first 243 that was basically the deer rifle i grew up on i i, I love that gun i think i've even shot a deer with this <laughs> yeah gun. you've shot i think you shot your first deer with it i think i did a lot of people have shot their first deer with that rifle but that is in case we have to go to my buddy's feeder who he's actually waiting tonight as soon as the pigs come in he's gonna text me like yo the pigs are in there we're gonna go in there and try to shoot them off that feeder bus a 200 yard shot the other guns they're just not quite there for that the main guns we're gonna be using we got the scar now i've yet to kill anything with the scar took some buddies with it they've shot some pigs with it but i have not and then the other gun this one right here the one we gotta get sighted in is julius's little thing so what this actually is 762 in an ar platform get that joker out so check it out the mag's banana kind of like an ak but it's, but it's not an ak mag it is actually an ar mag so we gotta get this thing dialed in and uh so it in so Julius can shoot a pig with it. Have you even shot a pig yet? Julius has yet to shoot a pig, so we gotta make it happen tonight. Let's go ahead, get the hearing protection on, and uh, you wanna send the first round down? I'm, I'm down. Get it loaded up. All right, let's see it. Please be on target. At least hit the damn thing. <laughs> All right, where were you aiming? Center mass. Center mass, let's go look. It hit, so if we have to adjust it, at least it's just fine tuning it. Yeah, a little bit to the right, not yeah. not too bad. So I'm gonna guess you're aiming right here, you're just yeah. four inches to the right. We'll click that over, shoot one more time, and see if that is on, and if it is on, then we'll switch over, shoot the scar, make sure it's dialed, and the old Remington 700, it is always dialed. So let's go ahead, this thing needs to come over to the right, do four clicks, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna aim center mass just like you. can't really tell. I think it hit kind of the same place. One way to find out. Let's go look. Oh, it hit high, too. No, it did Yeah, no, it hit high. What okay. the hell? Yeah, no, that's yeah, what I was looking way at. way up here. That's strange. Like we just said, there's one way to find out. Let's shoot it again. Bingo. <laughs> Bingo was his name, Mo. All right, I want to shoot one time with the, the hunting ammo we're going to use. So this is what we're going to try to use. Oh. These fat, soft point tips. Throw one of these in here. At 50 yards, I mean, they should be pretty freaking close. Oh yeah, same hole. Throw some more spray paint on the target and uh, let's shoot the scar one time. So the last couple shots, I was aiming right here. One hit there, two hit right there. Pretty freaking good. Well, the wind is definitely going that way. <laughs> oh, let's grab the scar, lock one in. Let's go for a center headshot. Oh, 308, son. Damn, that's fucking dead center. <laughs> That's dialed. Uh, yeah, she's dialed. <laughs> Absolutely dialed. Should have no issue shooting a pig with that. Well, boys, the guns are dialed. We'll go ahead and pack up all the stuff, throw it in the defender. Shit, I didn't even notice this. Good old buck hanging in the tree, son. What is that? Nice eight point. Hell yeah. I guess one of the guys down here shot that deer and put him up in the tree as, for a skull mount. But we're going to load up in the defender, and uh, we got some work to do down here, so uh, stay tuned. Boys, we are headed down the power line now. Now, these pigs, they run this creek, and this creek actually comes down through the back of this power line. We're going to sneak in here see if there's a 
pig back here. Uh, and if there is, we're gonna try to shoot them. Now last turkey season, I've seen a bunch of pigs back in here. There's a camera I need to go grab further down the creek, but I'm scared to go in there and bust these pigs out. Just gonna cruise on back in here, do a little bit of off-road and walk up to the stand, see if we can't see a pig. All right, boys, so we've made it down here. We're gonna sneak up here and see if we can uh, see any hogs. Coming up over this hill now, once we get over this hill, we see all the way down to the creek. I've seen a lot of hogs down here turkey hunting, so uh, hopefully we'll catch one slipping. The, actually, the whole group of pigs actually came into this feeder about last week, so uh, I know they're coming through here. All right, we're coming up to the stand now. We're about to be able to start seeing the creek bottom. There might be deer out here, I don't know. There's a turkey down in the field, but I don't see nothing. I don't see any hogs. Is that a deer? Oh, yeah, I see them. There's two right there. Is there a deer? Yeah, there is a deer. I see the deer. Yeah, there's a doe in the field and two turkeys. Yeah, those are big turkeys. Looks like a little yearling or something. The turkeys are black like a hog. <laughs> If we were, if we were, it's a hog with feathers. If we were hunting for deer right now, that deer would be in the next fucking county. Ever. <laughs> that deer's just fucking... I could, Same with the I turkeys. Could, I could probably pop a round off and that deer wouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> That's hunting, man. They know when they're uh, being hunted versus when they're not being hunted. Yeah, no, that doe doesn't even care we're standing out here. Those turkeys are starting to leave. We're going to walk down here towards the creek because it's a far shot anyway if we did see a hog. But basically what we're going to do is sneak down here and see if we can't, can't catch a hog coming across. Well, boys, we didn't see any pigs down by the power line, so uh, I didn't realize how late it was getting. I had some feeder batteries and stuff I wanted to change out, but that's going to have to wait. We're rolling up on our first spot. This spot, the pigs have been uh, very patternable. We should have three or four coming tonight. We're just going to set up, try to get everything ready, shoot a couple here, and then grab the cameras and guns and run and hightail it to the other feeders and try to shoot some off the two other properties I got permission on. All right, boys, we got the scar, little AK pistol. We're gonna try to sneak down this hill and uh, try to get in here on these pigs. This camera might be dead. It's one of the cameras I needed to put new batteries in. My Moultrie app doesn't show nothing in there, so let's hope that uh, nothing's in there. It's not because the batteries are dead, but uh, we're gonna sneak in here all quietly, see if we can't get in here and shoot one. starting to come up on the feeder now. We're gonna try to sneak in here real quietly because they could be in here. I don't think they are, but they could be. Since it just rained, we should be able to sneak all the way up to 50 yards pretty easily. The feeder's about right there. All right, boys, we're walking up on the feeder now. It does not look like they are in here. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb up in the box instead of the stand and shoot them out of this box. If, that, if the angles don't really work, We'll build a quick little ground blind, but let's hop up in here. If all this brush wasn't here and you're shooting one gun, it'd be easy, but I say we grab that netting. We move back 20, 30 yards. The wind will be even better in our favor that way. And we just shoot them straight off the ground. Let's do it. All right, boys, we've set up the blind. This is looking fantastic. So we got the little setup going right here. Brushed up, ready to go. Built the blind in three minutes. Now all we gotta do is wait on some piggies. Four point. Deer, baby. The group of bucks just came in behind us. Uh, they've been using this feeder. The hogs have been coming in and running them out about 30 minutes after they get here. It's about show time. Now we're just waiting on these pigs, baby. I'm gonna be checking my phone to see if they pop up at the other feeder. And I'm praying they don't, because uh, this is just too perfect to run from. Update, it is 8.07 and these pigs haven't came in yet. We just had two show up at the other feeder. I think we're sitting good, we're gonna kill some pigs. But we got 30 minutes till dark. Go try to kill those pigs. Don't be impatient. Give it 30 minutes. All right, boys, we are making a mad dash. We're headed up to the defender. We grabbed the guns. I would stay and wait at this stand, but the pigs I was, I was waiting on a group of three to come in, and a group of three went to this other spot. Could be the same group. I don't know how we're going to sneak in. It's going to be tough getting in there and on them because it's all rock just like this. We got to get over there quick and try to shoot those pigs. We got to roll, son. Well, boys, we made it to the fender. We are hauling ass. We got to get over there to try to get on these Woo! pigs. <laughs> it's going to be very, very hard getting in there and on top of them. All right, boys, we have made it out here. We've made it down here. We're walking up to the pigs now. Still about 150 yards away. It's going to be hard to do this, but uh, we're going to set this camera down and just start hunting, baby. See what we can make happen. See if it goes off. No. 
there just wasn't enough corn. They beat us. They beat us in or beat us out of here. What happened, Braden? What, we're, we're back at the Defender. Five minutes too late. Fucking. If I fed more corn, we would have killed. So I just got a text from Joe. He said there's one in his corn pile right now. That's better than going back to the empty corn pile we just left from. So we're gonna haul ass over there. Uh, let's see if we can't kill one, baby. Let's go. We're hauling ass, baby. We're gonna get some bags tonight. I'm hoping we get there before dark because we didn't bring a spotlight. All right, we've made it. We are loaded up and on safe. Julius, you take the gun. Grab your bro. Let's go. We're hauling ass, baby. We gotta get this done. We'll be late this time, baby. I'm fat, remember? <laughs> just gotta get to the top of that hill. We're gonna climb up. We're gonna climb up the deer stand. Use the foot platform as the shooting table. The deer stand's right under this tree up here. Why are we coming up on it? It's too dark to see the pig. Just gotta climb up that stand, look through the scope. The scope will pull in enough light. The feeder's in the dead center of the power line. Hey, hey just no, just shoot, shoot up the right side. It'll be hard to see because it'll be black. Anything? Here. What I saw was on the right side of the Right. Yeah, I see him, I see him, I see him. Fucking shoot him. Alright, I'm gonna shoot him. Did you get him, Leroy? I don't know what happened. <laughs> they just popped out, dude. Oh, no way. They just popped out. I'm like, holy shit. That's 100% him. I couldn't tell which way it was their Facing, facing you just yeah but he was looking either straight at me or straight away uh -huh. so i put it dead center and fucking let it eat <laughs> so i don't know what we got i mean i hit it whatever it is 243 baby Hell but yeah. they don't bleed with this at 200 plus yards i never get a blood trail so hopefully he's just laying right there these ballistic tips they're known just to animals and if he was facing me he's he dropped let's go grab the defender grab some light and see if we killed this pig dude it was like I seen something, I was like, is that a pig? And I was just about to give up and say, ah, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, to the left of the feeder, just this big black dot. And at first I seen it, I was like, huh? And then I was like, ah, that's a pig. That's Boom! So on the right, I seen like a little sliver of black. And then on the left side, that's when the big black dot just appeared. And I was like, all right, putting it dead center of him, just smoking him. Whether he's laying there or not, he's dead. 243 ain't a great pig round, but these pigs, there is probably a 160 pound pig down there. Uh, that Joe sent me a picture of. But the one we've seen a lot of is about 70 pounds. So 70 pound pig, 243 should have done it, no problem. So there's actually the picture Joe sent me of that pig. Let's see, you sent that to me 10 minutes ago. This lone pig, he's actually the one that heard me click the safety on him last time we were here with the 243. And he's been coming here like every night. But there's also another group of like 10 or 14 that have been coming here, but I got that solo out. Let's cut on these lights and go look, baby. 200 yard shots, quite the uh, the drop in the dark like this. What you think, Julius, dead pig or no dead pig? I don't know, I didn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you couldn't see shit. No. I was planning on running the scope cam, but this pig came in so late, there's no no chance. See, if my predictions are correct, he's supposed to be laying in this line. Yep, there he is, oh, baby. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, domed his ass. Hell yeah, 243, 243 did work, baby. Yeah, I, I, I think I smoked him in the head, right in the noggin. Yep. Glad he was facing us. Yeah. You <laughs> You just, you're like, he's either facing this way or the other way, and you're right, he was facing towards us. Big old Sal, son. Oh yeah, look at them nipples. That is a big old girl. Dude, I freaking domed her. Dead center domed her. <laughs> that was a 150 pound pig, no doubt. That's a big old girl. Like I said, if that pig was facing us, that 243 was gonna do work right in the, right in the freaking noggin. But uh, instead of picking up this pig now, let's run back to our blind and grab all our junk. Got all our stuff packed up, got the cell cam ready on this feeder because uh, the battery was dying. Now we gotta run back, go grab our hog, get that big heavy joker, load it up in the bed of the fender, which is gonna be quite the task on its own. Those big pigs are heavy. Oh, that's a big pig. It looks like the bullet maybe went in right there. And so maybe his, her head was down. If you can get that pig up, I'll be highly impressed. I wanna see. Oh, oh, oh fuck, it slipped. <laughs> All right, I think I got it. Oh, yeah, he's slippery. Oh, dude, that's a big pig. One time I had to do that with that size pig, and I didn't have someone to hand me the freaking leg. That's the hard part. Oh my gosh. Dude, we had six pigs take up that amount of real estate in the freaking bed of this Defender. It's a big old girl. That scared me for a second. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Is that coyotes? That's coyotes. They're coming this way. Dude, they're coming this way. 
Dude, they're right there. They're 200 yards or less. They came running at us. <laughs> oh, we got plenty of guns. <laughs> I bet the mic's picking that up. They're close. The, the coyotes are mad. We're taking their pig away. Probably. Probably. <laughs> well, boys, we killed a hog. It seems like nothing never, ever goes to plan. But it hasn't been the, like the absolute best like normal. It's just like the how we're hunting them with the spot and stock. It's hard to film without a camera guy. Especially that scenario, there's no camera that would have picked up light at the end of that field where I shot that pig. It was pretty dark. But uh, we knew it was a pig. And with the crosshairs kind of on him, we, kinda, we pretty much knew he was dead. But we're headed back to the clubhouse. There's a freaking possum, dude. <laughs> right, what do you, what do you, why? It's a possum, baby. Why? This is all the way. Look, look, possum. Yeah, it's, it's a possum. He stinks. Yeah. Is he playing dead? I know. He's, he's, is he breathing? It don't look like it. <laughs> yeah, in that book, he's dead. Goodbye, friend. Get him out of the road. Well, like I was saying, we're on the way back to the clubhouse. We'll be there in a second. And uh, we'll get this hog unloaded and get some pictures. And uh, then we gotta take it and go drop it off to a family that's been wanting some hog meat. So uh, let's get her done. Yeah.